To host a game with your friends in Arma 3, you have three options. UPNP, Port Forwarding, and Virtual LAN. And you ask, what's the difference? UPNP, otherwise known as Universal Plug and Play, is the quickest if your router enables UPNP. Port forwarding lets you play via internet, making playing with more people easier, but requires a little bit of tinkering up front. And there's virtual LAN. You must play via LAN and it takes more steps for each player you plan on playing with, but no router tinkering is required. If you already know which method you want to use to host your game, feel free to jump ahead. Otherwise, I'm gonna move forward going through each method UPNP. Open up Arma, open the server list, click host server, set your settings, and check the checkbox UPNP. And then start your game. It's that easy. If your friend can see your game, you're good to go. If they cannot see your game in your server browser, whether it be in the launcher or in game, UPNP is not going to work for you. Let's move on to port forwarding. Port forwarding. Honestly, this one's my favorite. It's what most people do. It's more secure than UPNP, but you need to log into your router as an administrator. University Wi-Fi or mobile phone internet will not work. No administrator access to your router, no port forwarding. Please move along to VLAN. There are two major steps for port forwarding. The first is setting a static IP address, and the second is the actual port forward. This is where you follow along. Open the command prompt. Then type ipconfig forward slash all. A list of networks will appear. Find the one that you are connected to. You will see a list of addresses. The ones that we are looking for is the IPv4 address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS servers. Now either make a copy of these numbers or leave the window open. You will use these numbers in a moment. Next, open the control panel, click network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings and pick the network that you are connected to. Right click on that and click properties. Click internet protocol version four, then properties. Select, use the following IP address. Now enter the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway that you found in IP config. Select, use the following DNS server addresses. Enter the DNS server in the preferred DNS server field. Now click OK. That completes setting a static IP address. Next is the actual port forward. Remember when I said that you need to log into the router? Well, this is it. You gotta log into the router. What do I do if I don't know how to log into my router? Go to portforward.com and search for your router brand, then the router model, and that website will tell you how to log into your router. Major Disclaimer, if somebody has already changed the username and password to the router, can't help you there. Either find out what the username and password is or jump to the VLAN section. So open up the router, log into your router, find the port forward page. This is where it gets messy because everybody's is different, but find the port forwarding page. Once you're on the port forwarding page, fill out the forms appropriately. Description, Arma 3. Ports, 2302 to 2306. These are the ports that Arma 3 specifically needs open for you to host a game. The type is UDP. 
and set the private IP address as the static IP address that you just created. Now confirm and save the changes. At this point, your router may or may not reset and cut off your internet for a split second. But at this point, you're done. You port forwarded. You freaking did it. You boss, I'm so proud of you. Before you can start your game, there's a couple of rules you need to follow to be in the hosting Arma 3 club. Rule number one, no VPN. Turn that crap off. It's gonna mess you up. Don't do it. Rule number two, no UPnP. When you go in and host your server, do not check that box. Keep that box unchecked. Rule number three, confirm that your friends can tell that you are in game. Set your Steam status to online and set your privacy settings so your friends can see your game details. Now is the moment of truth. Open Arma 3 host server. Set the type to internet. Uncheck UPnP and go. And if it still doesn't work, go back, check that you followed all the rules or try the next method. VLAN. VLAN will almost certainly work for you even if UPnP and port forwarding didn't get you into hosting a game with your friend. The biggest downside to this method is that each player is required to download a VLAN software. In this case, that software that I have used is Zero Tier. Go to zerotier.com and sign up for an account. After registering for account, log in on zerotier.com and create a network. Once you have created a network, you will see that you have a network ID. You can set a name for it. Set the access control to public. Now that you have a zero tier network, download the zero tier software onto your computer. Go to the download page and click your operating system. Open the zero tier control panel. Copy your network ID. Place that in the join network field and click join network. You have now connected your node to the network. Next, you will need to get any of your friends, every last one of them who is going to join your game with you to download this zero tier control panel. They need to go in the same way as you, register an account, and download zero tier. They do not need to create a network. They just need to download the zero tier control panel and join your network by using your network ID. Send your friends a link to this video to help them get set up. It's time to test your work. Open Arma 3, host server, Choose a name, set the type to LAN and not internet. Start your hosted game and tell your friend to find your server by opening up Arma 3, entering the server browser and clicking the LAN tab. After a few seconds, your game should appear and your friend should be able to join your server and happily ever after and there you have it you're in you're hosting a game with your friends making memories bonding again if you have any further questions or ran into any issues please leave a comment i will respond to the best of my ability and feel free to leave any feedback ideas or additional guides that you would like me to make oh and uh yeah yeah, hit subscribe and I'll slap you with a new video next week.